Age of Rebellion, Jabba the Hutt issue 1, sees some of the rich denizens of Canto Bite order a shot of Tuscan Wind, a rare alcohol worth 10,000 credits a shot. The group drink it, amazed at the effects it makes them feel. Some others try and order some, but the bartender says that he is run dry and it comes from one single supplier on Tatooine. At Jabba's palace, a group of Tuscans demand that Jabba keep the Jawas and Imperials and others out of their sacred sites. Jabba is not concerned with the raiders and they threaten the Hutts, who signals for Boba Fett to come, saying that while he is indulgent, some things cannot stand. The raiders bow, standing down, and after they leave, two of the people who were at Canto Bight arrive, seeking to purchase some Tuscan wine. Jabba laughs at them, revealing a large jug of the alcohol, but instead of giving it to them, he drinks it, burping as the men wonder if there is any more. Jabba says that that is all there was, and they better not go looking for any more on the planet if they value their heads. The men are herded out by Bib Fortuna, who says the wine is sacred to the Tuscans, and trying to steal it from them will start a war, which Jabba says is bad for business, and if they meddle in the business and try and ambush the Tuscans at night during their prayers, they will die. In the Mos Eisley Cantina, the two men take the cues Jabba was giving them and want to go for the Tuscans at night, since ever since the wine ran out, prices are now 20 times that what it was. As they plan their raid, a Jawa overhears them, leaving the city and finding his friends. They too plan on ripping off the wine and selling it. And they aren't the only ones, as the Imperials also catch wind of it. And since the officer is being threatened with his debts he owes, he decides to go for the wine as well. As night falls, the two men arrive in the Great Dunes, but the Jawas, along with their rebuilt battle droids, confront them, as do the Imperials. As the three sides stand off, Boba Fett fires on them from a nearby rock face, causing chaos to break out. The dune erupts in fire, and the next day, the Tuscans bring all of the corpses to Jabba, storming into his meeting room. Jabba lets them in and they offer him a large amount of wine as tribute, and in return he will continue to ensure that they are not bothered by anyone, be it Jawas, Imperials, or anyone else. Bib Fortuna, however, informs him a cartel on Coruscant has managed to synthesize the wine, making the market crash and making the wine useless now. Jabba knows it's not worthless, however, drinking the entire batch, he says that it's priceless now as the raiders cheer. Age of Rebellion, Jabba the Hutt issue 1 was a fun look at the crime world of the Star Wars universe and offered us up a kind of Guy Ritchie scenario, very similar to Lockstock and Two Smoking Barrels or Snatch, where multiple parties are converging on an item each of them wants. It was a fun book and showed off Jabba's cunning intelligence as well. We could do with more crime-centric books in the Star Wars universe, especially if they are like this one. I'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS, or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans, including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.